Welcome back everybody to 31 Horror Movies in 31 Days Halloween Movie Marathon. And today's movie that I watched, Trick or Treat. Now, there's multiple films with this title. This particular Trick or Treat follows a young girl who is a babysitter and she goes over to a house on Halloween night to babysit a young kid. But this kid is extremely immature and childish and when I mean childish, I mean like he, he he doesn't behave well. He he always plays practical jokes on the babysitter and very, very dark practical jokes. He likes to make the babysitter think that he has hardly um, uh, injured himself and or that he has died. There are several practical jokes that just go way too far. Like there's one particular joke where he... Um, he thinks that um, it'd be funny if he would make it look like he drowned in the, in the swimming pool. So she, he does that and she runs out and pulls him out of the pool and gives him mouth to mouth only to find out that he was faking it all along. Uh, there's one where he who makes, makes her think that he chopped his finger off in the kitchen using a knife and just multiple things like this. Just way, way too far practical jokes that, that a kid would play or should play on, on anybody at all. And... Um, the, there's kind of a twist in this movie. I mean, this movie is pretty much boring. It's just the entire movie is just this kid playing practical jokes on this woman who I don't know why, but she falls for every single one. There's probably about 10 practical jokes that this kid pulls on her, and she thinks every single one of them is dead serious. And after a while, wouldn't you, wouldn't you just like let it be and not worry about it? But she doesn't. She goes for every single one of them, and it just gets a little re repetitive uh, over and over again for each one, and it's just kind of boring and annoying. And it's not until the very final part of the movie where something actually changes. And bas basically what it is is um, there's a mental patient who escapes the hospital who used to live in that very house. And so he goes to that house thinking that his, uh, his wife would still be there and he's going to kill his wife. And he gets her confused with his wife and he starts attacking her to try to kill her. And... Uh, once the uh, the kid uh, finds out about it, he tries to help out the woman uh, for the main battle, but that's only like 10, maybe 15 minutes long. Uh, the rest of the movie is just, you know, the first the first hour and 10 minutes is just this kid pulling practical jokes on the babysitter. Um, so it's really, really repetitive, really, really annoying, and I didn't care for this movie at all. Um, I, I would like to have seen a lot more stuff go on with the killer. Maybe the killer show up early on in the movie, and and when this kid is doing practical jokes, have several things that the killer does that is real. And they could have played out where you don't know whether the practical joke was real or not. That would have been been entertaining to watch. But but to know that every single one of them is fake and just a gag all the way throughout, throughout the entire movie was just... It was not fun to watch at all. It was extremely boring, and I struggled trying to get through this. It's like an hour and a half long, and it really feels about three hours because of that. Uh, but the movie is called Trick or Treats. If you're interested in films that take place on Halloween, um, give it a shot. Uh, you might be interested in just the atmosphere of uh, you know Halloween time with every once in a while a trick or treater will show up at the door, and it's, it's nothing important like that. But, but yeah, all in all, I would say stay away from this film. Uh, I didn't really care for it at all. So that is Trick or Treats. And thanks you guys for watching another review uh, for my 31 horror movies in 31 days. Check back tomorrow for another film. See ya.